So technically, you can actually fit all the way under the Cybertruck when it's in extract mode. Fun fact, so much room for activities under there. So one of the coolest things about the Cybertruck is the ride height. Not only do you have entry, low, medium, and high on-road, but if you go into dynamics and off-road, you get a whole separate menu of ride height. So today, we're going to see exactly what each measurement is and how high we can get it. So not only do we have our trusty measuring tape here, but we also have the yardstick. And so when this is pushed up against the car right here, that is the top of it. So we're going to see how high we can actually get the cyber truck kind of leaning it on there a little bit uh, and see what exactly each mode entails. So to start here, we're going to go ahead and take our yardstick, push it flat up against the truck. And you can see we are at, I'd say probably about eight and a half inches right there of ground clearance. And our gap between the fender flare and the wheel is right about three and a half inches in the rear. And I would imagine the front is going to be pretty similar depending on where you're at. So right now it's about two and a half inches. So let's go ahead and start raising it up. So we're gonna do this in like real time. We're not gonna change anything. Okay, so that's low. So you can see not really too much has changed. We can see there's probably half an inch or so. And if we look down here, yeah, we're right about nine inches or so there. So roughly half an inch between low and entry. Now we'll go ahead and go up to medium. And again, all this is in real time. I'm not fast forwarding any of this. Get this lined up and you can see we're probably almost like two inches there. So yeah, we're right about 11 inches now. And about five and a half inches or so on the rear. And about four and a half or so on the front. Now again, it's gonna vary depending on if you're on a slope or not, but this is a good general use. Okay, so let's go ahead and go up to high. Okay, so for high, we're getting up there. We have quite a big difference between where we started. So I would say we're probably at about 12 and a half inches or so there. And then this rear here is about seven and a half, seven and three quarter. And the front is well, six and three quarters. So again, that's high, and this is all the settings for on-road ride height. So now if we go under dynamics and off-road, read this, confirm it, now we have a whole nother set. We start our lowest setting at high. We can go very high and extract. So let's go ahead and go very high and rise on up. It's gonna be kind of a jump to get out of the truck now. So it's very quick when it actually does raise, but you can see now we're pretty darn high. If we start this, I would say we're probably right about 14 and a half inches right here. And then on the rear, <laughs> this is getting kind of crazy. I'd say we're in about nine and a half, nine and three quarter ish. So I would expect about eight and a half, eight and three quarter on the front. And it is so. One more setting and then we're all the way done. And this takes quite a bit to jump on into the truck. And actually you can see here, it does even tell us very high is about 14.33 inches. And I did say it's about 14 and a half. So we are pretty darn close there. So now we're gonna go into extract mode and extract mode can take some time to actually get into because it is going to fully inflate everything. It takes a little bit of time. And we can hear the compressor kick in in just a little bit. We can see here that it's still working on raising it. Compressor's going a little bit, but that's totally normal. And there we go. So you can see since we are kind of on like a hill, the ride height's gonna be varying a little bit from side to side. And then eventually these will actually enable locking differential controls, can't wait for that. Um, but let's go ahead and get out there and measure it. And now this 
<laughs> it's a heck of a jump to get out of. Oh, so I guess that's the thing to keep in mind is if you close the door, it's gonna come out of extract mode since you don't really wanna be going very far or long in extract mode. So we're gonna go ahead and bump it back up to extract. I would expect these to get back to 1622 and this side 1575. Okay, so there we go. So now we're gonna jump on out. Not gonna close this door this time so that we can see how everything is. I'm just gonna kind of leave it gapped a little bit. And so here you can actually see that is the difference between where we started way up here and where our hand is now. I think that's quite a difference. And we are, yeah, I would say probably about 16 and a quarter, 16 and a half inches. So that Tesla display is like dead on for the yardstick test. But between the fender flare, I have to like get back a little bit to get all this in. Um, we're right about 11 and three quarter, I would say, maybe 11 and a half inches between the wheel well arch and the tire. That's just absolutely crazy. I could literally fit in here. Probably wouldn't want to in case it lost air pressure, but it's possible. And then here, yeah, 10 and a half, 10 and three quarter. So yep, about an inch lower on the front, but that's probably because we're on a slight slope. But you can see so much in here, which is actually pretty fascinating. And like this airbag alone, how big is that? Maybe six and a half, seven inches in diameter. Thing is absolutely a beast. You can see all kinds of cool stuff in there when you do have it all the way raised up. And then you have that back right there. You can hear the air compressor a little bit more on this side because it's actually under the bed. So, tons of room. So what we'll do real quick, because it is on the highest extract mode right now. I'm gonna go ahead and put this back on here. We're gonna go ahead, put another piece of tape. So we just need to measure from the bottom of one piece of tape to the other, and that is our total travel, in which we are at 8.25 inches of travel between entry and extract mode. Which is honestly pretty impressive when you think about it. The only thing is, on extract mode, it's not necessarily the easiest to jump in and out of, but we have some, um, extra bits and pieces coming to the side that might make it a little easier to get in and out of when it is on that highest mode or e even honestly on any mode for that matter. A lot of people have asked in some of my other videos oh, what exactly is the ground clearance and honestly that Tesla readout was pretty much dead on at 16.22 inches on the highest extract mode. It's exactly basically what we read out here. We need to get one of those waders like the 410 has. The 410 with the widow wader? Yeah. yeah. But look how tall it is. Like, if you just stand up normally, oh, okay. look at, like, you wouldn't even really be able to see in the bed if the tonneau was open. Mm hmm But like, look how crazy that is. Wow. Now, see if you can get in there. It would have been easier to get in without that, though. I mean, why'd you make me put that down? How are you gonna get in with it up? Well, with it up, I just get up like this. <laughs> I mean, that's a lot easier than like, because if you put this down. Yeah, if you put that down, it's gonna be so hard. You're gonna have to like jump and put your butt up there and then. Yeah, it's just like, off. I mean, I guess I could still do it, but it's like, it's easier to do it with it. Wow, it's still dusty back here. Yeah, everything is really dusty back there because, um, yeah. Because that rubber dusty. seal doesn't really prevent everything from getting in there. I'm guessing that it's about. Oh. oh my god, it's like 40 inch. Feet. About, well, it's, the bed. Yeah, it's, it's about 40 inches. Wow. Well, I get like altitude sickness just <laughs> getting up there. Just coming down, huh? Yeah. But that's basically it for this one. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. Definitely let us know down below what you want to see done or tested on the Cybertruck, and we'll go ahead and take care of that coming very soon. As always, a huge thanks to our channel sponsor, Abstract Ocean. If you're looking to accessorize your Tesla Model SX 3Y and Cybertruck, and now Rivian, definitely check them out. I'll link to down below I'm using code Tesla Inventory to get 15% off of your first purchase. A lot of really fun, useful accessories to really create your car your own, as well as keep it protected. But that's basically it for this one. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. As always, thumbs up if you did. Go and click here to subscribe. Here for some other ones. And we'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.